a late entry into the photographic competition, well, what sort of subjects might you uh, see in the week ahead? Well, you could well catch some uh, fairly threatening rain clouds, for example, particularly across northern parts of the UK during the early part of the week. But equally, there'll be some nice settled early uh, autumn or late summer weather with the sunshine just nicely picking out those autumnal tints. We've got a similar mix across the UK today. Two weather fronts draped across the country. This southernmost one bringing some pretty misty conditions to southernmost parts of England. This northern one first brought some heavy showers to other areas. And behind that, well, we're seeing a scattering of showers falling on behind across Northern Ireland and Western Scotland. For much of uh, southern and eastern Scotland, though, it should be a fine afternoon with some decent sunny spells around. Temperatures about the same as yesterday, up to about uh, 17 or 18 degrees. Gusty winds, though, across northern England causing a few problems, particularly east of the Pennines. Those heavier showers, though, edging away a little further south as into the North Midlands. But for most of the Midlands, East Anglia, much of South East England, a pretty warm afternoon, 24 or 25 Celsius feeling very pleasant indeed. Still those brisk winds across the southwest of England, but that's pushed away that low cloud. So here too, you should get a few sunny spells come the afternoon, as you will across Wales. You can see the sun glinting quite nicely there off the waves in the Irish Sea. Now through this evening and overnight, we'll lose most of the remaining showers. We'll lose a lot of the cloud as well, especially across England and Wales. But not a cold night despite the clear skies, because the wind will keep ticking over. It's fairly warm air anyway. So we're looking at lows 15, 16 degrees in southern parts, 10 or 11 degrees across the north. Tomorrow, well, this weather front's going to try and make a comeback from the southwest. It will introduce those misty conditions once again to southwest England. It'll start to produce some rain as well, which will uh, begin to push in from the west. So that'll eventually push up towards Northern Ireland through the day, fringing in across the west of Wales, southwest England. But to the north and the east of that, and that's much of the UK really, looks like a dry day, best of the brightness in eastern parts. And some decent temperatures again, 22 or 23 Celsius in brighter parts of the southeast, perhaps 20 Celsius across the southeast of Scotland. So the week ahead is certainly going to feel quite a lot warmer, I think, for most of us, especially across England and Wales. It's going to feel like summer's come back. There will be some rain around at first, but most of that is going to be across the north, and it's going to be tied in to this area of low pressure, a deepening low that will run in from the southwest, spreading its rain and strong, possibly gale force winds in across Scotland through in towards Tuesday. So it looks like a wet day across particularly Highland Scotland, I think, on Tuesday. A little bit of rain getting into Northern Ireland, northernmost parts of England, but for most of England and Wales, well, a warm day. Again, those temperatures getting into the mid-20s. The low, slow to move away, so still pretty windy across Scotland, and that weather front slow to move southwards as well. So fresher air to the north of that, very warm air still to the south of that. So once it brightens up across southern parts, it is going to feel very warm indeed. We could see temperatures possibly into the high 20s in one or two parts in the south, but that weather front just keeping a band of thicker cloud, perhaps across Northern Ireland and Northern England. The timing of that, though, may well change. The latter part of the forecast, latter part of the week, hinges on just how quickly that front pushes away towards the south. And I have to say there is some doubt over that just at the moment. So this is our best estimate just now that we'll still keep some fairly warm air across southern parts into Thursday. Fresher air still across the north. The weather front itself, quite a weak feature, so not really giving very much in the way of rain. And by the end of the week, well, most of the Atlantic weather front still kept at bay by a fairly weak area of high pressure. So I think still temperatures near or slightly above average for most. A largely dry story and some fairly pleasant autumn weather as well. Temperatures as high as 23 Celsius. That's it from me for now. But now back to Miriam at Strangford.